Hello viewers, last week I made a video on good rules of reading. The good rules of reading were active reading and uh, recalling the active reading, implementing the reading lessons in your life and solving the different problems, having a solution mindset while reading and then uh, teaching that to a 10 years old kid making the reading lessons very simple. These were all the good reading habits. Today I would like to share with you bad reading habits. If you are having these reading habits, stop reading this way. So the first bad reading habit, bad reading rule is that reading, passive reading. Passive reading means that you are repeating one word again and again and you do not know what you are reading. You are just spending your time. So this is something which is extremely useless. If you are not doing something actively, you are not understanding it, you cannot reflect it in your life, you cannot execute it, that passive reading is useless. And the second bad rule of uh, the reading is that, that most of the people when they find a book, they try to highlight everything. When While highlighting, if you are not understanding it, you are actually fooling yourself. So do, do not highlight it uh, if you have not learned it. You have to first learn it carefully, then you need to recall it. And then if you want to highlight it, then you can highlight it. And the third bad rule of reading is that, that people read without any objective. People read the things without thinking about the solution. They, they are not reading about a problem. They are not reading about a solution. They are just reading something. So that reading is not going to help you. That reading can be an intellectual entertainment, but not a good habit of reading as per my point of view. So the other thing is that, that most of the people, they read the same thing again and again. They start a series of reading which has the stories which they do not know where they're going to implement in their life. So do not do the meaningless reading. And, uh, uh, and, and, and the other thing is that, that they, 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 they just read to pass an exam. I think this reading is just useless that you read something, you do not know what the, where the you will implement that thing and then you end up, maybe if you are reading something, you do not know that what is the meaning of it, better discuss it with your teachers, that most of the students do not discuss the things with their mentors. Uh, and reading without guidance is, is a bad thing. Most of the people I have seen, they pass the exams and then after one month, after two months, they forget that thing. And uh, the, 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 the reason behind this is that they did the passive uh, reading that you just pass the exam. This is extremely, extremely bad rule of reading and poor way of reading. And uh, the other thing which I would like to share with you that those people who do this passive reading, they do not sleep during exams days. They're all the time reading, all the time reading. And I'm sure you find many people around you in your family, they're reading all the time, but whenever it's exam time, they do not even pass. This is because of passive reading. So these are bad habits of reading. I recommend you do not do this. Go for good habits of reading. Uh, active learning instead of passive learning. Uh, learning with the focus to solve any problem rather than just learning. Okay. Repeating something again and again to memorize it and pass the exams rather than reading something to solve a problem to uh, improve your uh, working condition, to improve your business. That is something which I recommend, it, recommend to you. If you find it useful, share it with others. Thank you so much.